All right, so for this map here, I recommend taking the northern exit. And we're going to go to the left side and it, where these blue doors are. Now, sometimes you have one guy that spawns here, so be careful when you open these doors. He might be right here in front of me, or he might be on the right side right there. Most of the time, he's right in front of you. Once you kill him, usually you can also have another guy in here. Not usually, but sometimes, depending on RNG. So this is one of my favorite spawns, is to go through the store. And there's another guy in those stairs. That sometimes he's at the very bottom, and then there's this guy here. So we take him out. Now, typically, what I like to do is I like to at least have two guys here to take out. If I don't get two guys, then I like to restart, but... I've only had one guy here, and I still managed to S-rank it. It's easier with at least two guys, though. And in here, sometimes you'll have another one of those bad guys in there. That's another spawn. If we go through these doors, one guy there, sometimes. One guy in here, and I actually got him in here right now, in this um, recording. I was trying to use the <laughs> trying to use the door key here, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why is it so buggy? Watch, I had to get like a weird angle on it. Watch, you'll see. I kind of had to like strafe over to the right here, or turn my camera over to the right side. Like, look how far I am from the door. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> All right. Anyways, here's the guy. Nice. Another spawn. Sometimes they spawn in that theater room, so be careful in there as well. Got them all zipped up. Now this is very hard to S rank because. Most of the time they'll kill one civilian, so you have to be really fast at this, which is why I like to at least get two bad guys at the spawn, at the first spawn that I was at. If, otherwise I'd normally restart, but I didn't restart this time because I'm more familiar with the spawns. So sometimes there's a guy in here, there's no guy here right now. And sometimes there'll be a guy right there, on the stairs. Sometimes there'll be a guy in the library, to the left side. Now, I figured that there wasn't going to be a spawn there because I didn't hear any commotion. Like, normally you can hear like, the civilians screaming, like, fuck off, or okay, okay, you know, complying with the killers and stuff. So I didn't hear any of that, so I decided to go here, and I decided to be quiet because of that. Sometimes that guy fucking rushes you. So, this is another spawn. If he's the last guy left, normally he'll try to rush you. It's like he just knows where you are. Entry team to talk. So this is why I was able to S rank this because I pretty much mastered this entire map. All that's left to do here is get the bombs and I had the two best spawns. One bomb up top and one bomb on the bottom. They are literally right next to each other. If one of the bombs is in here, then, the, the, then one of the bombs will be in a lab towards the right side where I killed that final guy. It'll be in one of those labs. And there'll be another bomb to my left side here. Not this. Um, actually, hold on. It's kind of hard to explain. Not the left side, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to explain without showing you the location. Basically, it's near the theater room. There's going to be one... Actually, there's one inside the uh, theater, theater classroom there. And there's one outside it as well. We're not here for you. But anyways, all that's left now is to get some of the assault rifles from the killers that I left on the ground. And the civilians. I do all this last, like the, the assault rifles and the civilians, because the main focus should be on making sure that the killers don't kill a civilian. Because 99% of the time, it's going to happen if you're not fast enough. So it's important that you try to find a good RNG spawn location. Try to take out two killers close to a spawn. And then that only gives you two killers left to work with. And if you know the spawns well enough, then you should be able to find them. And the best way to find them is to listen to the civilians. Because they give away the killer's position. By screaming. By saying, oh no, don't kill me. Or, or by saying, fuck off. Like, they're not complying with them. They don't give a shit. You can also hear the killer's footsteps walking around, 
it sounds different than the civilians sometimes. Like it sounds heavier you, typically. The uh, killer's footsteps will sound heavier, so you can kind of tell if one is creeping up on you because of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my first S rank for version 1.0, already or not, and thanks for watching. Civilian is cuffed and good to go. Civilian is secured. Talk to entry team. Great work, Gentry team. Keep it up. Hands I did it air. on the ground. LSPD, don't put your hands up now. Get down now. Don't Civilian's worry about ready. me. I'll, I'll be fine. Just get I the kids out. Civilian, good to go. Talk reporting. Great work, Gentry team. Keep it Down, up. Talk. Civilian. Gotta do this for safety. Civilian oh, no. restraint. No. I got you, don't worry. Good they to came go. in, didn't say anything, and shot everyone. Talk. I think Civilian, I lost ready them. to go. I ground to talk. Get the fuck out of here! Don't worry. We're with the LSPD. Civilian is cuffed and good to go. Tell him. Civilian is ready. Copy that. Put him on safe and let him hack. Great job.